This is the future. Is the future. Well, hello guys and welcome back to Crib Zone. And this is Minecraft. And as you guys can see, it's the new look. I have uploaded my new shaders. And after testing a couple of shaders, I finally decided on this one. Now you can see the clouds at least look kind of real, the sun is around, the water has got a nice watery shine to it. And uh, I was just trying out my new, trying out my new game and trying to find some worlds that I would be happy building in. So the first world I had there that you saw was the desert and I decided the desert was too flat for me, I wasn't looking for something like that. I was actually looking for something more or less than what I had in the previous build. Then the second world was this one. As you guys can see the shaders does have a little bit of a glitch when you are above the clouds. But you don't see anything funny when you're below the clouds. And this was a very mountainous area. And although I could have built some interesting stuff here. This was not exactly what I was looking for. So I went over to a third world. And I think probably a fourth as well. But the one I finally settled on was a very um, forestry, foresty wood looking world. We are in the forest. And it almost seemed like this game only generates five different types of worlds. You get forests, jungles, um, oceans, that's just basically water, deserts, and flats or valleys like farmlands and that's the one I would actually have wanted to build in but I finally settled on this one so before we start I just want to thank you guys for watching this video and I hope you're going to enjoy it give this video a like and subscribe to my channel and remember to hit that bell icon so that you can get notified of my further uploads feel free to check out my updated website and or Join my Facebook group to get behind the scenes info. I built myself a boat and I rode to the closest island. And I thought since this is all a big lake and I'm in like a forest, what better than to build a wood cabin. This is my first build since the castle. And you will notice there is some similarities to the building style. But look at that. I actually learned how to make a proper roof. It looks so awesome. So this was the first build that I did when I was in my new world. It was a nice wood cabin. And uh, the second build was a bit more of a modern house. But let, let's first come in here and take a look at the cabin. So as you guys can see it's all wood. Nice and thick. And I also noticed that with the new graphics uh, the, the blocks looks bigger. If I can put it like that. I think it looks bigger. I think the blocks were a bit smaller with the previous game with the castle but this looks bigger so just was this was just like a test run it was just to see how the place looks and just to give myself a place to sleep so it's very small little kitchen and a bedroom that's all it was it was just like a test run here's my little as you guys can see i i, I improved a bit on the furniture styling and i think i'm i'm improving with every build that i do you will see with the underwater house that I built now, um, there's a total change in design and in the look of things. Here we've got a little bit of a jetty, so that's a spoiler for the next video. Eh? <laughs> uh, here's my workshop, a bit bigger. I've learned now that you need to build the places bigger. If you want to have a lot of stuff in a room, space it out. Don't be shy, make it big. There's nothing to it. And uh, trust me, this place has changed a lot from what you see here to what I've done now. Building railway systems, building forest paths between different points. This place has changed a lot. So let me introduce you 
to my modern house. This guys is almost like a dream house for me. This is a place I will definitely live in if you could give it to me now. I am a little bit unhappy with the first floor because the first floor I based on a plan of a house that I actually lived in when I was younger. But from the second story upwards, that's my ideas. That's my imagination taking over and going wild. This is our footpath. As you can see, I've planted some nice glow shrooms, which helps a lot for night lighting. We've got a nice big dock where you can catch some fish. Uh, we've got a little boat here that I used to actually come here. And then we have these um, shrooms that just lights up the place at night, well, which I will show you a bit later. I planted a little garden with a beehive and a bee nest there. Then as you move on closer, you'll see I've got a swimming pool. This is the first swimming pool that I've built in Minecraft. And also like a spa area where you can lie down in the sun and just relax and don't have to worry about anything else. Moving on up, we find my workshop here. As you guys can see, bigger, more spacious, much better laid out. Little workshop for if I want to do something here. And uh, let me take you into the main house. Mi casa es su casa. Welcome to my house. Uh, I did a bit of a mistake with the fish tank. I admit the idea was to have a, a nice big fish tank, but it turned out to be a bit much bigger than I wanted. And because of the new shaders, the water doesn't reflect as nice as I would like. Plus, I had to use the thicker glass um, cubes because I realized that if you use normal glass paint, the water leaks through. If you have too much pressure in the tank, it breaks. Here's your first bedroom. Obviously it's red because it's my one son's room. Remember this houses of mine is based on the family, so there will always be two bedrooms plus maybe a spare and a master bedroom always. This is the second bedroom. Uh, you guys will realize in a little while why the tank is so big. Um, it actually has a very nice feature on the second floor. Um, I still haven't figured out how to do the bottom part to look better. We've got a bathroom with a bathtub this time. I still don't know how to make a toilet and I don't make a proper bath, but at least I have a place to bath. Okay, so this is a bathroom. Enough said. I had candles there, so it was kind of romantic. Here we have our living room. Nice place where we can sit and chat. Our dining room with the table that didn't work out exactly like I wanted. It's a bit too high, but table nonetheless. And a nice proper kitchen. Uh, much better laid out and some plates of food that's already set out, ready to be served. Second floor. I wonder what the architects would say about this build. They'll probably laugh their asses off. But anyway, this is my workroom. Um, there would be a laptop there, obviously, if this was a modern day. We have our crafting table and a map table there. We have my master bedroom. This is where I'm sleeping. Uh, we'll get to that place just uh, in a little while. Uh, one of my prides and joys out there. This is my study. And see why the fish tank was there? Doesn't this just look so freaking awesome? I love it. I really love this room. This is just such a nice room that you can sit and just relax, read books, uh, write something if you want to write something. But I love this room. And then obviously I love my loft the most. Look at this. This is based on a house that I was living in when I went on to a safari. So, um, loosely, might I say. I love the glass roof idea, of course. Um, it just gives you this great ambiance. Um, you've got your deck outside with a very beautiful view over the lake and over the other house that I built. 
Um, oh, this just seems to be so peaceful. This is really a peaceful place. This is a place that you can come to if you need to relax. You know, a real holiday destination. This, this is a place I would really definitely live in. Anyway, let me go show you what is happening in that place that you saw outside. For my very modern and futuristic underground or underwater house, I'm going to learn how to make proper furniture. So welcome to my LAPA. We have a place here to make some food. We've got nice places to sit. I would like it if that picture was more in the middle, but it's not. A little open space on the floor. Oh, it's raining. Nice. A little open space on the floor if you want to dance. We have our bar here with the jukebox. I can really imagine myself just sitting here, serving my friends drinks, having a great social time, frying meat, and uh, let me show you guys what this place looks like at night. The reason for the shrooms, the reason for the lanterns, this gives you just a totally different feel to the place. I still love this room. This loft is just fantastic. I love it. I can imagine winter time, nice open fireplace, just sitting there and just relaxing. Going down the stairs, let's get out the door. And then the reason for the for the shrooms is to guide you on the road so you don't get lost. It just gives you a natural light. I don't have to waste money or uh, you know put a lot of lanterns in there. Whoops, the zombie kid. And we're just gonna go around the house and up the stairs into our little Lapa area. I love it. I really do. I think for my next project I should try and build a soundproof room. I would give my left testicles if I could have a, a soundproof room where I cannot hear nothing from the outside. That would be a perfect thing. Anyways, this is my second build. This is what I was up to in the last two weeks while I was making the castle videos for you guys. Um, yeah. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video so please remember to subscribe to this video give me a thumbs up if you liked it um, write a comment tell me if you would like to see more balls like this and until next time cheers